Hello, I'm James Jimenez. I'm from the Comelec. I'm the spokesman. And today, kasama ko po dito si... Attorney Karen Jimeno. I'm the head for voters' education of Smartmatic. And we're here to answer your questions on the 2016 elections. And today, Director James, our first question is from... My question is, can the voting machine be hacked? It will be nearly impossible to hack the vote counting machines and the voting system. The vote counting machines is heavily encrypted. That's true. And uh, ang isang mapapansin natin, yung ating mga makina, they are standalone. Which means na for most of the day na ginagamit sila, they're not even connected to the internet. Alam naman natin na para mahack mo ang isang device, kailangan kaya mo siyang pasukin. And you can only do that if the device is actually connected to the net. The VCMs are standalone, so it makes it practically impossible to get in there and hack the machine. And imagine, Director James, for someone to do that, they would have to be connected to the vote counting machines in front of all the Board of Election inspectors and in front of all the voters. Yan, tama. And uh, wala naman tong Wi Fi access, so hindi talaga pwede mangyari. Yan. And what about during the time that this is transmitting the votes? It's going to be online, right, Director James? Yes, it will be online. It transmit siya. Um, but dalawang bagay. First of all, it's going to be online for a very short span of time only. And second, it won't be on the commercial internet na, na ginagalawa natin lahat. Ano? Meron siyang sariling tinatawag na virtual private network. So, if you're going to try to hack it, hanapin mo muna kung nasan yung vir virtual private network na yun. If you can't find it, you can't hack it. And all the results of the vote counting machines are encrypted. The encryption being used is stronger than what is used in most bank programming. If you have any more questions about the 2016 elections, use the hashtag PhilippineNask2016 and send it to us. Filipinas.